In this video, I'm gonna share with you what I made on Redbubble in June and why I think it was the worst month for me this year. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So in this video, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to share with you what I made on Redbubble this month, this month of June. So if you've looked back at some of my videos, you might have seen that I've done this every single month. And I'm kind of late this month only because I couldn't get the CSV file from Redbubble. And they've made a few changes and I'll, I'll show you what they did there in my video. So you're going to want to stay till the end of this video so you can see all my stats. I'm going to share them with you as well as what I think you should be doing for July and why I think my sales went down in June. And of course, I'm also gonna share with you a trend credit at the end of this video. So stay till the end of this video to see a design that is trending on Amazon right now. So if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've made a presentation for these. So let's get into the presentation right now. So here we are in my presentation for June 2021 sales. So you can see here, this is what I wanted to talk about. This is where I get my CSV file on Redbubble and you'll notice it looks a little bit different. It used to say CSV up here and now they're breaking it down, which I think it's for speed so that they can chunk it. So let me show you how they chunk it right here. So you can see from July to September, from October to December, from January to March, April to June, July to September. So they're chunking it up so there's not such a big file and so you can go back in the past and you can see it's it still works but it, it took me a while to get to this spot. Every time that I tried to get on here um, for the CSV file, it would get an error or something but finally it worked and so now I have the data that I can show you. Um, and you can see I, I grayed out some of these things so you can see my stuff but this is how it's gonna look like now. If you're looking for your CSV file, this is where it's at. So if you want to see the latest one, it's this one. The one I did was for June, of course. So I have to do the April through June 30th right here. So um, let's take a look at my stats. So in May, I had 974 designs. Today, I put June here, but today I have 987 designs. That's a total of 13 designs added. Not a lot of designs added in the last month. So that's part of the problem why my, my sales went lower. I would suggest at least putting 60 designs, maybe 100 designs a month, and you know you can get the ball rolling there. When I do that, I usually get more sales. So here is uh, my goals for June that I said that I was gonna do in my last video. Keep the prices on products. Yep, I kept the same prices. Upload more summer designs. Meh, I, I didn't do so well on that one. Update mugs and postcards. Well, the ones that I updated, I did update the mugs and postcards, so I did, did good on that. Um, here are my earnings and summary. So you can see June was just hit and miss. I had like one good day here, but a lot of the days were really slow and some days I didn't have any sales. Um, let's take a look at the traffic. You can see it went down from last month as well. So I didn't get as much traffic. These things are direct, organic, other social media, Redbubble. They're kind of even, the others kind of low. I got three from there, but social media and direct. Uh, organic is pretty good so um, liking those and you also have this on your dashboard where it tells you how many products you sold and I had one that sold 13 times and a lot of those 13s were stickers so that's why um, it doesn't have that much of a increase but still still pretty good to have 13 sales on a product so I like to make these graphs here and you can see from May, I had 167 sales. In June, I only had 88 sales. So this is the breakdown in percentage I like to do. You can see stickers is still up there in the 70%. Um, it was 74% in May, but still you know, 70%, even with less products sold, stickers and clothes kind of have the same ratio as it did before. Um, these are all the products I sold in June. And you notice a lot of them are missing. I didn't sell any masks. I didn't sell any mugs, um, no, I, I did sell a couple of aprons um, and just a lot less stuff. So usually my stickers are a lot higher than that. So I only sold, you can see only 47 stickers right here. I'm usually up in the hundreds or close to a hundred stickers in a month. So a lot less products than last month. If you went back to see my May when I had all those sales, 
lot more products on here. So I, I also sold a lot less products. And here's the breakdown of my profit. So in May, I did $371 worth of sales. And in June, I only made 156, so about half of what I did in May, which is crazy, right? And this is the lowest um, month this year. So I think in January, I, I made more than this. But uh, you can see the percentage is almost right on again. So 33% stickers for my profit, 60% profit of sales for close. And that's because you get a higher profit margin for close. So that's the reason for that. And it's kind of always the same. The next thing I want to share with you is why did my profit go down in June? So I have several ideas why I think my profit went down in June. First of all, like I said, I didn't add a lot of new designs. You saw I only added 13 designs. I think you got to add more and more designs, especially for the time. So um, for June sales, I need to add more outdoor things, more summer things, things like that. Um, and I didn't promote my design. So uh, I wasn't out there putting it on social media and things like that, which I, I probably should have done. Uh, you can see here, I, again, I said I didn't have many outdoor or summer stuff. I didn't make a lot of 4th of July designs, which probably would have got me a lot more sales if I did. And the other thing I think is because it's summer, more people are outdoors, maybe not m not buying as many t-shirts or m not buying as many things in June as they did before. Um, that could happen too. I'll, I'll show you that a little later. The next thing is my goals for July. So the things that I think I want to do in July, of course, is promote my designs more, um, put it on social media, Twitter, print, Pinterest, things like that. I need to upload more summer designs and I'm going to start uploading more um, park designs and more um, things like that, hiking and camping and things like that. And I need to draw more designs. And I, I know I say this a lot on my videos and I need to follow it myself. I need to design like an artist or create designs like an artist. So I'm going to start drawing more. I think uh, more of those things that I do that I draw the kawaii style and other things like that, just drawing it out. Um, really gives that sense of this was designed by an artist. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to start drawing more of those things. So look for those in the future. So these are my goals for July. Um, hopefully you have some good goals. If your sales went down in June and you're wondering why it went, went down in June, I wanted to show you this. First of all, don't panic. This happens all the time. This happens every year happens to me, happens to a lot of other people. Some of your months are going to be slower than others and that's okay as long as you're making some profit. Um, if you're not making any sales then you want to look and, and see why that is. But if you're just making less sales, this happens all the time. You can see right here, take a look at this graph. This is um, January 2020. This is the year 2020. You can see last year I also had a dip right here. It goes um, it usually does this thing where in January it, I have less sales and it goes up and then comes back down and then goes back up. So that just happens every year to everyone. Maybe some months are different for you. Maybe you actually have a lot of, you know, things that you sell in January, February. Maybe you have a lot of uh, New Year's stuff and Valentine's so this isn't as low for you. And maybe um, you have a lot of summer stuff so maybe this these months aren't slow for you. but. Uh, there are some slower months throughout the year depending on what kind of designs you have. So here is my Merch by Amazon graph from 2020. You can see it's kind of the same pattern where it goes down. And of course, it went really down in April of last year because of COVID. There was no sales at all, but you can see kind of lower here in June. So kind of matching um, what is on Redbubble too. So Merch by Amazon as well as Redbubble and some other pods kind of has the same thing. You're going to see this every year where there's a slower part of the year and then there's a higher part, which is the Q4. You can see I have both of these here together, the, the Merch by Amazon and the Redbubble. You can see for me, it's slower in the summer. It might be slower in the summer for you too. Maybe it's slower in the beginning of the year for you and not slow in the summer. It would depend on what your designs are. So it picks up in the fall. And what this is saying is it really picks up in Q4. So you can see here really picks up over there. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Just stick with it. Keep adding designs. Don't worry about it. And you're adding designs, maybe not for right now, but it will help in Q4. We're going to see, I'm hopeful that in Q4, it's going to pass what we did last Q4 and make, make a lot more. So 
Uh, one more thing before I leave. A lot of you uh, like to leave in the comments, you only made $100 this, this month. How can you survive on that? Let me share with you something that might ease your worry. So here's Redbubble. This is a graph of all my online income. So you can see Redbubble is literally only 1% of what I make online. So Merch by Amazon is the beast. It, it has a lot more stuff. Google AdSense and some other print on demand sites make up for the whole thing. So don't worry about me. I know my Redbubble sales are really low and it's not what I what you can live on. $100 a month is not something that people can live on, but it's really literally only 1% of everything everything I make online. So I'm good. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm doing okay. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. And your reward for staying all the way to the end is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for joining me on this Trend Credit. Here is your Trend Lunch Lady Love t-shirt. So take a look at this. Um, some low BSRs, right? So as we get closer to back to school, lunch lady stuff is very popular. You can see here, lunch lady rocks. It's not a saying, like there's not, there's, there's not one defining saying for lunch lady. You can see this one says hashtag lunch lady. This one says peace, love, lunch. This one says peace, love, lunch. I guess th those are the same, but this one says lunch ladies rock. Um, lunch lady, what's your superpower? So lots of different things for lunch lady. Come, come up with your own phrase for lunch lady have something that a uh, lunch lady would love to wear or it's for the students to wear so that the lunch lady can read the shirts right um you can see lunch lady squad and things like that so let's take a look at merch informer um lunch lady love you can see it's getting an a so uh, you know it's good if you don't have merch informer you can click on a link i have in the description for merch informer where you can check competition as well so Let's take a look at this uh, trend again. Lunch lady, lots of different ways to do this. This one says lunch ladies rock, right? Always be nice to the lunch lady, stuff like that. So come up with your own phrase for this for this trend for lunch ladies, uh, lunch lady love t-shirt. All right, so that was it for this video. Thanks so much for watching it. Hopefully this video was really helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I got one right there in the corner. You can click on that. And before I leave, I have a question of the day. And the question of the day relates to this video. And it is, what is your slowest month on POD? Um, my slowest month right now, of course, is June in this year at least. Um, love to hear when your slowest months are is it typically january uh, i know a lot of people have slow months in the beginning of the year hopefully your slowest months aren't in q4 because that's when everybody should be having a really good time and lots of sales so let me know in the comments what your slowest month of the year i think it might be different for everyone depending on what kind of designs you have so Thanks again for watching. If you wanna see more videos on what to do with trends and how to design t-shirts, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.